class consists of 20 boys and 30 girls. In the mid-semester examination, the average score of the girls was five higher than that of the boys. Fine. Boys and girls. Fine. 20 and 30. The average of boys was N. Girls would have been N plus 5. That means the overall average, I already know this, this difference is 5. The overall average would have been n plus 3 closer to the girls than to the boys split in the ratio 2 is to 3. In the final exam however the average score of the girls dropped by 3 while the average score of the entire class increased by 2. So average of the entire class was n plus 3. This would have gone to n plus 5. Average score of the girls dropped by 3 so the girls would have gone to n plus 2 from n plus 5 well the average what will the increase in the average score of the boys now n plus 2 and something would have resulted in n plus 5 this difference is 3 the ratio should be 2 is to 3 so this difference should be 4.5 i'm talking about the allegation method so this should have been n plus 9.5 or the average score of the boys the increase would have increased by 9.5 one wonderful question beautiful question done with the approach of allegations and so what are we doing here initially the boys to girls ratio is 2 is to 3 so boys were n girls were n plus 5 so if you subtract and get here you should get 2 is to 3 the difference between these two numbers is 5 so the 2 is to 3 gets split as 2 and 3 so this should have been n plus 3 n plus 5 minus n plus 3 is 2 n plus 3 minus n is 3 you've got this far and then we know that the average score of the girls drop by 3 n plus 5 becomes n plus 2 of the average score of the entire class increased by 2 n plus 3 becomes n plus 5 so you're mixing something and n plus 2 in the ratio 2 is to 3 to get n plus 5 so this something should have been n plus 9.5 from n we add 9.5 to go to 9.5. It's a classic question where algebraically you can get to the answer. But if you think along the way of using this allegation method, you are running to the answer, racing to the answer, getting it right. So wonderful, wonderful question where one method is significantly superior to another one. And you can rush to the answer. If you can just think in terms of splitting the difference between n and n plus 5, the difference is 5. Break that in the ratio 2 is to 3. You've got your weighted average. The wonderful way of thinking about weighted average. So if you're, if you're mixing 80 and 90 and mixing it in the ratio 2 is to 3, you can do 2 into 80, 3 into 90 by 5. Or you can say the difference is 10. I'll break this in the ratio 2 is to 3. So that is 4 and 6. So this number should be mixing 80 and 90 in the ratio 2 is to 3. It becomes 4 and 6. Or I can find this number to be 86. When wonderful approach if you can think like that you're going doing these questions really quickly so keep that in mind